line and plane so different interpretation of the object if you talk about this corner here edge point surface all interpretations are there so we are talking about this if you only talk about a point that is about a sphere where how can you gauge a sphere where is the imaginary point that is a center point so different ways we devise but a single rule we use and coordinate system is from where our zero zero reference is and that is the vital and important part and if you talk about the basic dimension inside your drawing this basic dimension never changes you cannot apply tolerance to a basic dimension i will discuss just in a minute so if you see this particular cylinder's location may be from some other part at a particular location in x direction and y direction and you can see the location is absolute so that other pin or hole will get assembled to this so you cannot have a, you know the tolerance to this so this is a basic dimension but you can have different other control so how to deviate from the standard to the non standard but still that is not getting rejected that is the part of jdnt so what are the different rules that i will show you and finally a symbolic language that means if all the controls tools where you drive inside your imaginary world of jdnt but that always scattered to your real world so these are the different you know the jdnt codes how we write but within a minute i will explain bit by bit so this is what a simple jdnt applied drawing looks like with a various tool the logic of jdnt here you will find through a geometry control tools for a positioning perpendicular parallel profile run out and flatness and different other tools also you have and you can see this is applied here over the drawing that means this hole is positioned and the tolerance here is 0.5 not this tolerance which 18 plus minus 0.5 this is the dimension tolerance and here this is the geometric tolerance so both are different so to geometric dimensioning tolerance and di uh, only dimension tolerance both are quite different so this is jdnt and this is only the normal ordinary dimension with tolerance and next is you can have different interpretation here like for the profile how we interpret profile is basically the complete outer boundary how do they deviate if you see about the bore and its diameter how do it manage for deviation and next is the everything tool that is the size how do you manage the size how do you control the form form maybe the flatness maybe the cylindrical and maybe the perpendicular and orientation you can set your angles and location is basically the positioning exact point so this four thing you control through your jdnt tools that is the logic and here you can see the flatness that controls and from this bottom surface the 0.25 flatness is allowed so that during the inspection we can reject all the parts which are above 0.25 but how do you know that this is 0.25 is okay that is the part of the jdnt that means when you talk about a hole and when you talk about a shaft how do you know that what is the best diameter and the worst case for your shaft and worst case for your hole both will fit that is the part of the jdnt encoding and decoding that is what the encoding so once you interpret it perfectly then you can guarantee it and finally the feature control frame where you arrange all the geometric dimension and tolerancing symbols that is feature control frame and these are the red highlighted you can see all these are feature control frames and next is the basic dimension so here you can see the basic dimensions are highlighted here the 25 typical location where from the coordinates 0 0 wherever it is there that will discuss later but this 25 you cannot vary and this 45 is a typical position and this 45 also is a typical position so all this typical dimension you never try to apply jdnt because these are basic dimension and critical dimensions so how do you know that which is a basic dimension which is not so that also is a part of jdnt and next is the datum datums as i discussed are the gauge reference and quality for fact parts but while manufacturing you will never get the quality part so most of the people they say that 
this is the datum inside the part my datum is there no your datum the a which is the perfect surface is your gauging plate is your gauging reference is your inspection instrument not inside the part even though you allot the datums datums is a flat plane maybe with respect to the three different direction x y y z and z x so these are the flat reference perfect reference but after manufacturing parts cannot be perfect so this datums most of the people they say that in, this is inside the part no this is inside your inspection instruments so these are